after this introduction that you have received over this period, you are going to start the practical session in which you will implement a project to develop a disaster response plan for your institution. This is the practical guide. Work in work groups. Each team should have a laptop computer, flip chart, markers and masking tape. Provide some space, a separate room or corner of the same room and a desk for writing. Step 1. Establish your work groups. Clarify group work activity. Each group develops activities of a particular capability at a time. You'll be developing emergency response activities at district level for each of five planning capabilities, one by one. Each work group will work for a specified period, at least two days. Try to cover a capability per session. After the capability, all teams should make a presentation. Then you can take on a number of capabilities at the same time. You will then compile your plan and then provide a feedback in a plenary on the activities that you have selected. The final output is activities developed for all the capabilities. Activity for every capability developed and merged, hence five, um, five um, capabilities in the plan. A copy of the electronic blank of the planning matrix is available in Microsoft Excel. This will guide you in developing the planning activities. It is the SOA library. It contains strategic objectives, operational objectives, and you build on this to fit in the activities, the responsible pattern, persons, the timing, the place of implementation, and the budget. The activities. Distinguish between an operation objective and an activity. An activity is what is actually to be implemented. The responsible part, per, personal party. Which person or which agency should take the lead on this activity? There should be one responsible person per activity. And then other responsible persons can be indicated in another column as you will see in the planning matrix. The timeline. The framework. Um, um, within the disaster situation in which the activity will be implemented. For all activities and not, all activities that are to be implemented pre-disaster, the time should be indicated as zero. And there, for other activities that are to be implemented after the disaster, indicate the time with respect to time zero. That is when this, the disaster has started. So tell us, within one hour, within two hours, within one day, within one week, and go up to within three months if possible. You'll use an all-disaster approach. That is, you'll not plan for every disaster that is likely to hit your district, but you will plan with the following question. In the event of a disaster that needs, say, coordination, what actions do I need to do? In the event of a disaster that needs water, what do I need to do? In the event of a disaster that needs sanitation, what do I need to do? That is called the all-disaster approach for planning. Let's get started. Please refer to the electronic blank of the matrix and get started with the planning. <laughs> 